guys and welcome to the practice space. This is the actual studio that I have here in New Haven. Uh, we're back, we've reopened. And uh, I just recorded this morning's class. So this is a chair-based class. So I'm mostly seated. There is a, a standing sun salutation in there, but it's a gentle flowing class, a lot of breath work. So uh, yeah, please take it nice and easy. You want a stable chair and a strap and that's it. You're ready to go. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the mat. <clears throat> And you don't want to be leaning against the back of the chair. So you can see I'm about six inches from the back. Feet are about hip width, they may be a bit wider because of the position of the pelvis. It does tend to open the hips. So whatever's comfortable for you, you don't want too much tension, but there is effort here obviously to sit upright. <clears throat> and then hands to the thighs. And spine is nice and tall. And we always arrive in our yoga class with the breath. So the breath is how we root ourselves in our bodies and in our practice. And we come to the gentle expansion and contraction of the tummy. Eyes are closed. And then moving out from the tummy, maybe watching the rise and fall of the chest. And the lifting and lowering of the shoulders. Maybe you can feel the rock of the pelvis. Tilting forward as we inhale, and slightly back on the exhale. And from that, maybe the sway of the spine, gently swaying. So we're not adding to these movements, <coughs> but we're not fighting them either. There's a softness to our posture. And before we move anywhere, change anything, we'll make our inquiries. So the first inquiry is with the physical body. So this is blood, bone, skin, muscle. Any areas of tension or lightness or any sensations that just jump out and grab your awareness. And then let's check in with the quality of the mind. Are we distracted or relaxed? Is the mind empty? Often it empties when we turn it on itself. And then finally the energetic body. So whatever that means to you may present as tingling, a lightness, vibration, color, or nothing at all. So 
So these inquiries are the first way marker along our path of this practice. And we make them again just so we can see any benefit, any space we're creating. And now let's enter into some rounds of our yogic breathing. So firstly, we inflate the belly as we inhale, and then moving the breath up through the chest until we've expanded lower ribs, middle chest, upper chest, collarbones. And then we exhale from the belly first, so squeeze the belly, lower ribs, middle chest, upper chest, and finally the collarbones. So we call this the double up wave through the body. So we'll flow together. So it requires some effort to continue with your own breath. It requires some effort. So just checking at the end of each exhale that we're not adding tension into the body. So making sure we check in between the shoulder blades, armpits, hands, feet, hips, and face. Often places that start to get scrunched. And three more, make these the fullest yet. And it can take some time to learn this articulation, so don't stress. And last one. And we return the breath to normal. Coming back again to the motion of the body, so the expansion, contraction of the tummy, the rise and fall of the chest, shoulders, swaying of the pelvis and spine. And even subtler, but maybe you can feel it. Every inhale, exhale moves you from your toes all the way to the crown of your head. So through our practice, we want to allow space for the breath. The breath is how we talk to the body. It's how we come deeper into posture. And just one more breath in and out here. And let's begin. So our next inhale, we're drawing up the right knee, taking the hands around the top of the shin. And as we exhale, we're trying to press the thigh into the tummy. And we're breathing here. So if you need, you can also use the strap, depending on how much mobility you have. Shoulders are back, and we always move with the exhale. So breathe into the leg, and exhale for compression. Drawing the shoulders back. Spine is still erect, away from the back of the chair. And just one more breath in and out here. And 
and on the exhale, lowering that right leg down, coming for the left side. So either the strap or the hands around the top of the shin, and as we exhale, we draw the knee into the chest. Keep the heart proud, so the heart reaching forward in these seated postures will really help us get into deeper stretch. Maintaining those lovely, long, slow breaths. Just one more breath in and out here. And at the end of the exhale, floating the left leg down. Just rest the strap onto the lap for a moment, hands on the thighs. We're going to do some leg extensions, start to warm up the thighs. So as we inhale, lifting the leg to 90 degrees and exhale, lower it down. Inhale for length and lower it down. Three more, inhale length. Exhale, lower, and all the while keeping the spine erect, pelvis leaning forward, inhale, length. Exhale, lower, and one more, inhale for length. Exhaling down, coming straight to the left, inhale, left leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, down, spine is floating up, three more. And one more. And exhale, floating it back to the mat. Taking our strap once more, so back to the right leg. We're going to put the strap around the sole of the foot. And the strap is going to be roughly midway. Holding the strap in both hands. We're going to lift up the thigh. We take an inhale here. And as we exhale, we're reaching the foot forward now, so a slightly passive stretch. Inhale to bend. And exhale to extend. Inhale, bend. Three more. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. I've lost count, so we'll do just one more. Inhale to bend. And this time, as we extend, we keep the leg out and we breathe here. So the leg may be down low, maybe at 90 degrees. And then most importantly, we're going to lift the heart towards the toe. So it's a small movement and you'll notice it affects the entire back. It will deepen the opening on the right hamstring. So inhale, the heart lifts through. And exhale, soften. So these micro adjustments in yoga are very important. Inhale, heart lifting through, even just half a centimeter. Exhale, soften. One more. Inhale, heart through. And let it soften. So now keeping the left leg firm, knee where it is, we take a breath in. And now we're going to guide that right foot across the body to the left side until you feel something in your right buttock, so the glutes and the piriformis, and then tilting the heart forward will help you deepen and find the stretch. If you don't feel anything, send the heart forward. Mm. One more breath in and out. Taking the leg back to roughly parallel with the other, and then we lower it down. Switch the strap now to the other foot. You may feel that your body is starting to get a bit warmer. So even very simple postures can have a profound effect. So we're going to lift up this foot, take a deep inhale. Exhale to extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. 
inhale bend exhale extend once again I've lost count so let's do two more inhale bend exhale extend one more inhale bend and this time as we extend we're going to maintain the extension and as before we inhale the heart comes through the arms so sending the heart towards the toe You'll feel your spine straighten, and you may feel the stretch down the back of the left leg increasing. And we're breathing here. And again, the leg can be down low, whatever your body will allow. That's where you work. So in yoga, we try not to think of where we want to be, where the leg should be. We just work with where it is. Inhale, heart reaching through, small movement that can really change the sensations of the body. One more breath, in and out. And now keeping that right foot planted knee where it is, take a deep inhale, and now we're guiding the left foot across to the right side, so coming kind of diagonally to the right. And you may not feel anything in the left glute to begin, but then we tilt the heart forwards and you should feel a stretch left glutes, maybe up the side of the leg into the lower back. So those of you who attend other classes with me, you'll realize this is a modified version of what we start every class with. Another breath in and out. Leg coming back to center and then lowering it to the floor. We'll reset our posture here. You can keep your strap across your lap just in case you need it for other postures. Hands once again to the thighs and now spine rising up. And we're going to make those inquiries once more. So firstly, the physical body. Any heat? Any areas that feel like they've worked or opened, tension or lightness. And then the quality of the mind. And then the energetic body. So however this presents to you, it may start to become more accessible. It may have gone quiet. Another breath in and out. So we're just going to do a little work on the arms. You may feel it that you were working quite hard then with the arms. So lifting the arms up 90 degrees out to the body. We're going to give ourselves a hug to begin. So reaching one arm under the other, trying to come all the way around and hold the shoulder blades. The spine is still nice and tall. And now we're going to hold our tummies in. So again, about 50% of drawing the tummy in. This is to restrict the breath, and we're going to send the breath deeply between the shoulder blades. So inhale. And exhale, soften. So use the tummy to restrict air. Inhale, open the shoulder blades. Exhale, soften. Inhale, expand the back. Exhale, soften. And just one more like this. Hmm. Opening the arms again, and then we cross them the other way. So other arm on top, just to even out. Five breaths, holding the tummy. Expand the chest. And continuing four more. And you may notice the whole of the torso can feel profoundly different just by switching the arms. Our bodies are rarely balanced. So without judgment, we try to notice these imbalances so we can work intelligently. Mm, just one more. And then open the arms again. Give them a little shake. Now we're going to take a tricep stretch here. So inhaling, right arm comes up over the head and comes towards the neck. If you can reach, taking hold of the right elbow with the left hand. 
And we're breathing here. So we're sending the breath deep into the right side, right armpit. Another breath in and out. And releasing the arms, taking the left arm over the top now, towards the neck, behind the head, and the right arm coming towards the elbow. And exhaling, reaching it down. One more breath, deep into the left side. Use the breath to ease the body open. And relaxing the arms down, giving them a bit of a shake. So now we reach behind us, taking hold of the back of the chair. So you may need to bring your buttocks a little further towards the front edge of the chair, making sure we're stable. So we take a breath in, expand the chest, and then we're going to lean forward here. So we're leaning into the heart, spine is long, and then we're breathing there. So inhale, expand the heart. This is how you're going to open the front of the chest. And exhale, soften. Inhale, expanding our chest. Exhale, soften. Inhale again into the heart. Exhale, soften. Just one last breath here. Inhale. And softening. Bend the elbows, coming to sit upright. So now we're going to move the spine in the other way, and we're going to start to create some rolls, articulating the spine. So take this as far or as gently as you wish. So two hand options. You can use the hands on the thighs for support, or you can also hold the seat beside your buttocks. So figure out which one works for you. So we're going to inhale, lift the heart. Don't think of the back. We're just lifting the heart, lifting the gaze up. And then as we exhale, we drop the chin and arch forwards, round the back. And then inhale, we're uncurling again. So flowing between these two postures. Thinking only of the heart lifting. And exhale, dropping the chin, rounding the spine. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale, drop the chin. Maybe the motions get bigger. With each breath, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale to fold. And on this next round, when we lift the heart, look up. We're going to stay for three breaths. With each inhale, lifting the heart high. You can use the hands for support here. They can press into the thighs or the chair. Inhale, lift the heart again. Exhale, soften. Let's do one more. Inhale, heart up. Dropping the chin as we exhale, we're folding forward. Let the head be heavy. Use the hands again for support. So in this posture, most important is letting the head go. So you should feel a nice stretch from the base to the top of the neck. And don't fight the movements of the breath in the body. So the inhale will lift you slightly. So we want to keep those lovely soft breaths. Just one more in and out here. And then inhaling to roll up with the spine. So before we stand, we're going to take a gentle twist each way. So firstly, coming to the left, so left hand grabbing the back of the chair, right hand on the outside of the left knee. And this may be your twist. So you take a breath in, lift the heart, and as you exhale, twist the chest open to the left side, drawing the left shoulder back. So 
So depending on your mobility, that may be your twist, and then you just look towards the left shoulder. But otherwise, we continue to move. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhaling to twist a little more. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale to twist a little more. And one more time. Deep inhale. Exhaling to twist. And then we inhale back to center. Coming to the other side. So right hand now to the back of the chair. Left hand outside of the right knee. And this, this could be your twist. So you can just look over the right shoulder. Otherwise, we're inhaling. Exhale, pulling that right shoulder back. Twist. Inhale, lift. Excuse me. Exhale, twist. Inhale to lift. Exhaling, twist. We'll do two more. Inhale, lift. Spine is long. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. Coming back to center. We're just going to take another rise of the, the heart and folding forward. So inhaling to lift the heart high. So this would be our cow and cat. And exhaling, dropping the head rounding the spine and inhaling back up so we'll have another one for the back here so two options with the arms so one is left hand to the thigh right arm up beside the ear but if there's any pinching or um, crunching in the shoulder we take the arm across the body and hold the opposite shoulder so we're coming into a side stretch and a twist here so I'm going to do it with my arm across my my chest we're going to take a breath in here, spine is tall, and now we're dropping the head to the left side. Press into your left foot, you don't want to tumble off your chair, just as far until you feel a lovely stretch up your right side. If you have the arm above the head, it's going to deepen the stretch and work on strength. And we're breathing here, so whichever arm posture. And another breath in and out. Let's have one more, sending the breath deeply into the right side. So now on this exhale, we stay leaning to the left, but we're going to drop the right shoulder towards the left knee, surrounding the back. So you'll see it shifts the stretch around the back. And we're breathing here now, sending the breath deep into the right lower back. Let the head go. And another breath in and out. Then bring the torso between the legs to center. And from there we roll up. So coming up with good alignment. Let's take the other side. So left arm either up beside the head or across the chest holding the right shoulder. We take a breath in here. Spine is tall. And then we're just going to press into the right foot to give us stability as we lean to the right side. So come as far as is comfortable until you feel the left side opening. Send the breath deeply into the hole of the left side. And just one more here. And then keeping ourselves leaning to the right, but then we're going to bring the left shoulder now down to the right knee, dropping the head. So we're sort of in a twist. And let the head go. You should feel a stretch around the left lower back, maybe near to the buttock. By releasing the head, you will deepen the stretch. And just to say not everybody will feel every stretch. It depends where we're open, where we're tight. Another breath in and out here. And then torso over between the legs and rolling up through the spine. And before we stand, we're going to take a moment sitting tall and we'll make those inquiries. So these are our road markers along the way so we can feel the benefits to our body. So checking in physical body.
and then the quality of the mind. And then the energetic body. Wonderful. We can place our straps to one side now. So we're going to come to standing. We are going to have the chair for support. So I'm just going to move my chair so that I can continue to see you. <clears throat> and we stand with the seat facing us. The back is away from us. And we're nice and tall. So I'm going to teach you a modified sun salutation. Don't be daunted. The chair is there the whole way through. And we've taken some of the postures out. So hands to prayer heart center. Feet can be hip width apart in parallel or big toes are touching. And we're finding the breath in this new posture. So as we did seated, finding the rise and fall of the chest, the expansion of the tummy, the rock of the pelvis and the sway of the whole body. So these movements, usually imperceptible, can feel vast when we reside in them. So the sun salutation is our moving meditation. It's all about the breath. And we're ready to move, taking the hands to the lower back. We take our first breath in to send the heart high, exactly as we did when we were seated. And we take two extra breaths here. With each inhale, lifting the heart. If any problems with the neck, drop the chin, but keep the heart lifted. Shoulders and elbows are drawing back for one more deep inhale. And as we exhale, we bend the knees, bring the hands to the seat. And straighten the legs here. So we're sending our bum out behind us. So this is a flat back posture. You can actually hold onto the chair. You want the chair to be nice and stable. And you're gazing just over the top of the chair. Well, depending on how high the chair is, you're gazing diagonally down in front of you, you're not looking forward. And we're breathing here. So in our flat back posture, the same as when we were seated, we're lifting the heart through the arms. And as we exhale, we soften. So inhale. The heart comes through the arm. And exhale, soften. Inhale once more. Maybe you can feel your whole back engaging heart through. And we pause there. So one more breath in. And next in our sequence is our forward fold. So taking the forearms to the back of the chair now. You can bend your knees as deeply as you wish. But we're working towards having the legs more straight. And then we're resting the head onto the chair. So this is a supported forward fold. And we breathe here. So making sure the breath is unrestricted. Mm. Mm. Lovely, long, slow yogic breath. One more breath in and out. Hmm. Wonderful. Lifting up the torso now, grabbing hold of the sides of the seat. We're bringing the left leg forward so that the knee is now touching the front edge of the seat. We step back with the right leg until we find our lunge. So the left knee is resting into the chair. This takes the weight out of the thighs, using the hands for support. And this is our crescent lunge. And as with much of the yoga we're doing this morning, and with many postures, it's the heart. Breathe the heart through. So lift the heart through the arms. Draw the shoulders back. It's all about the breath. So as we elongate the breath in these postures, the body naturally follows. That's how we find more space. We find the softness. Where do we work? Where do we relax? Another breath in and out. Mm, wonderful. Now step the right foot up a little, taking the left foot back to join it. And now we're simply going to stick the bum out. So this is downward dog. So 
There shouldn't be too much weight in the chair. Our knees can be bent deeply here. So this is our chair version of downward dog. And we're breathing. It should be a relatively relaxed posture. So this is where we come for active rest, we call it. And we're breathing here. And we're trying to let the head and the arms be in line with the ears. And we're breathing. Just one more breath in and out. Mm. Lifting the torso up and we step forward with the right foot this time. So right knee is in touch with the front edge of the chair and then left leg's back. You may have to step your left leg back a bit more to find a good posture for you. And then it's about the heart. So inhaling the heart is coming through the arms. All about the breath. Just one more in and out here. So now moving that right foot back away from the chair, just a few inches so the knee isn't in contact with the front of the chair. We step up with the left. And once again, we're into our forward fold. So forearms to the chair. Head is down, knees can be bent. For another breath in and out. And then the next inhale, hold the edges of the chair. Lift the heart through so we take another flat back before we roll up. Exhaling here, inhale, heart through the arms. And now bend your knees, let the head drop. And we come up through a rounded spine, hands to prayer, heart center. So that is one round of our sun salutation. So we'll take the left side and then we're going to work with some balance. And let's begin. We move this one slightly quicker, hands to the lower back. We're going to take an inhale, pelvis comes forward, head and chest lift. And then exhaling, hinging forward through bent legs, hands to the mat. We find our flat back, stick your bums out. Another breath in to send the heart through. And exhaling, we're going to come to our forward fold. So our elbows or forearms to the chair. Head is down, knees can be bent. Let the torso fall out of the pelvis. Hmm. Just one more breath in and out here. Hmm. Wonderful. Lifting up onto the hands. Now we bring the right knee so it's in contact with the seat. Left leg is stepping back. Maybe you take a slightly longer lunge at this time. And we're breathing here now on this side. We're going to press through that left heel. So reach that heel back as though you're trying to touch something behind you. And we're breathing the heart, lifting through shoulders are back. Two more breaths here. One more deep inhale. And then stepping the left foot up slightly, take the right back to join it. Hip, feet can be wider than hip width here. And then we're just sticking the bum out as far as you're comfortable. We're aiming to have the ears in line with the arms. The knees can be deeply bent. And this is our downward dog. Hmm. One more breath in and out. Inhaling to lift up, bringing the left knee forward so it's in touch with the seat. And now step back with the right foot. Maybe you want to take it a little further away than before. And again, on this side, we're pressing through that right heel. 
sorry guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but my tummy is really grumbling, so I hope it's not distracting you. Pressing through that right heel and then breathe into your heart. Lift the front of your body. Lovely long slow breath. So we try and elongate each breath. Just one more in and out. Now moving the left foot six inches away from the chest, stepping up with the right into our forward fold once more. Hands or elbows and head to the chair. Knees can be bent. A breath in out. The next inhale, we're lifting the heart through. Stick the bum out, come to the flat back. And breathing here for one more inhale. And exhale, rounding the spine, rolling up through bent legs, coming to standing, hands to prayer, heart center. So I'm going to spin my chair around, but you can just walk around behind your chair. And we're coming to our balancing postures. Let me do it this side first. So the back of the chair is to your hip, hand or fingertip resting lightly on the chair. So we're taking tree posture here. So right hand to the right hip to begin, pressing down into the left big toe. We inhale, peeling the right foot from the floor, and then our gesture. We either place the, sh the sole of the foot to the ankle with the toe down, or the sole of the foot to the calf. So wherever you are. And now we're drawing that right knee back, and you can play around with the support. You can use just one finger on the back of the chair, and you'll feel your ankle wobbling, or you can hold the back of the chair. And then lifting the left buttock. So really, it's an upward motion. So we call it in ballet, it was getting on top of your leg and your pelvis will move forward as you lift that buttock. And then we're breathing. So we are gonna add the arm. So inhaling to sweep up the right arm. And it reaches out at 45 degrees and then we rotate the little finger forward. So you should feel this really opens your chest. The heart becomes more proud and we're breathing here. And be mindful so we're not locking back into that left knee. So if you've got any pain in the left knee, have a micro bend. So not a full bend, but a micro bend. And the breath is long. Two more breaths. Maybe taking the left hand off the chair for the last breath. Mm, and then with control, the hand comes down and we place the right foot back to the mat. I'm going to turn around so that the other hand is on the chair and we'll take the left leg. So pressing down, rooting down the right big toe to begin. Left hand to the hip and we inhale, peeling the left foot from the mat and placing it so the sole of the foot to the ankle with the big toe down or the sole of the foot to the calf. Then we draw the left knee back so we're opening the pelvis. And now right buttock. So as I said on the other side, we lift up and onto that right thigh, onto the right hip, I should say. And then inhaling, sweeping up the left arm, shoulder blade down the back. When the arm is up at 45, rotate the arm so the little finger is at the front and you'll feel your shoulder blade engage. Playing around with the support. So maybe taking the hand off, maybe just a fingertip and breathing here. Just one more breath in. And exhaling, hand comes down, foot comes back to the floor. We give the pelvis a little bit of a bounce. And coming back to our chairs once more. So coming to sit down, spine tall. So now we've worked quite a lot into the legs. We revisit our hamstrings. So taking your strap, just having it on your thighs. First, we set up a good seated posture, back away from the back of the chair. Ease across the pelvis and across the shoulders. So there's work here. The spine is working to keep you upright, but there's a way of working softly so that those motions of the breath are still present. 
Wonderful. So taking the strap once more around that right sole of the foot. This time we just lift the foot from the floor and as we exhale, we come into extension. So taking that leg to wherever is comfortable, maybe drawing the foot up with each exhale. So feeling more opening, hopefully in the back of the leg. I'm sorry, my tummy is really grumbling now. Breathe in and lift the leg. One more deep inhale, exhale to lift. And then floating the leg back down, switch the strap onto the sole of the other foot. And we're going to breathe in, exhale, extending our left leg. One more breath in and out. Mm. Wonderful. Taking the strap now to the side, we're done with the strap. So we have one last posture that's optional before our meditation. So separating the legs wide. So I say optional because there is the chance that you won't be able to get back up if you've fallen down. So hands onto the thighs, we sit nice and tall. So this is a forward fold in straddle. We take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're hinging forward from the waist. You'll feel the pressure in your feet increase. And we're rounding the spine over, drawing the knees back the whole while. So we want to get this into a groin opener. And let the head be heavy. So it's always letting the head go that adds to the stretch. You may be able to come and have your fingertips to the mat. Keeping the knees coming back. So just again, noticing if they're flying in. And breathing. So again, the breath is going to lift the torso. And exhale, soften. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. Just one more of these. Inhale to lift. Exhale, soften. And then hands onto the knees and use them to help guide your torso back up. Drawing the knees together. And we just bicycle them for a moment and get some ease. So we're moving into our meditation portion. So you're welcome to stay in the chair, sitting nice and tall. I'm gonna join you on the floor, just so I'm a little nearer. And we'll take our next step of our practice. So whatever your seated posture is, we find the spine nice and tall. It's a sense of ease across the pelvis, sense of ease across the collarbones, and touching back into the breath. So feeling the expansion of the chest, the tummy, maybe the tilt of the pelvis. Inhale, it rolls forward. Exhale, it rolls back and out of that comes the gentle sway of the spine. And we're going to take a very gentle, purposeful rock forwards and back, just through center. So moving maybe a centimeter forward, centimeter back, feeling for that middle point, that uplift. And then a gentle rock left and right. And we find that central point. And to enter our meditation, we're just going to take a few rounds of Nadi Shuddhi, which is alternate nostril breathing. So index of middle finger between the eyebrows. If you know the full version, please take that. 
but I'll instruct for everyone else. We close the right nostril and we inhale left. Close the left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. We'll have two more rounds. Inhaling left. Exhaling right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Last round, inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And finally exhaling to the left. And then we rest our right hand down. And before entering the meditation, we'll make those inquiries. So check in with your physical body. And then the mind. And finally, energetic body, however this presents. <coughs> and we'll take a very simple meditation. So everything we've done up until now is preparing the body to sit, opening a space for awareness. So as we inhale, we feel for this sense of lift up through the entire body. And as we exhale, it changes direction and there's a downward flow. So inhale for lift. Exhale, softening down. So working now with the subtle energies of the body, the breath is the bridge between the physical and the energetic. And don't worry if you feel nothing at all, just looking is the practice. If you've worked with me before and you know the concept of Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, pelvic floor, lower belly, just a 30% lift in and up. See how this informs the practice. And we're going to sit for the next few minutes in quiet meditation. And if the mind wanders, just 
draw it back gently to the outflow, downflow. drop that technique and for the last period of time just bathing in the sensations of the body wherever your awareness is called maybe the whole body maybe a tingling vibration of the energetic body rest in the space Gently guide your awareness to the space of the heart, deep in the center of the chest. And we bring in our pranic breath, our secret breath, the breath that manifests from within, expanding the heart space ever so gently, never forcing. Feeling any sensations present for you, not adding story, but just witnessing what is there, and it can be nothing at all. Taking the hands to prayer at heart center. So we call to mind a person we know who needs this love, this tenderness, or can be for all people. 
And we dedicate our practice this morning to them and we bow that to each other and say namaste. Thank you for our practice.